to see the sales reports or sales numbers, it's very simple. Um, what I'll do first is I'll install what's called the dashboard app, which will allow you to have a dashboard where you can aggregate different reports from around the system. And once this installs, just give it two seconds. Okay. Once that installs, if you go to your sales and you want to run a sales report, create that sales report. This will give you your dashboard of your sales in real time. So as orders are coming in throughout the day, this will all automatically populate. Next is create your sales report here. Maybe you want to see sales by salesperson, and then you want to see sales by uh, customer, and then you want to see sales by product per customer, right? You can break all that out. So we can see up here, then maybe we want to see confirmation date broken out by day. There's a lot of, a lot of sales data there. Maybe let's uh, keep something simpler by month. So January and February, and then in the measures column, I just want to see the total, untaxed total, and the just the untaxed total uh, amount of sales, and also maybe the, um, not the volume, but the, not the order number, but the quantity order of each product. Now, I'll just say favorite sales analysis, add it to my dashboard. So whenever you, You'll have this on a mobile device, wherever you'll have it. All you'll do is open up the app, type in dashboard, and just like that, on your dashboard, you'll see this report. And you can easily roll it up and look at a general sales report here, or you know you can drill down any way you want. You wanna see sales by product, it'll show you all your products sold in January, total 39,570 and 27 units sold total. And then in February, we're having a much better month with 116,205 untaxable total of 308 units sold. Total 335 units sold and 155.755K as of this second. And all you do is click enter to update those numbers. So that is going to give you the sales analysis in real time. Um, if you want to obviously go right here, if you want to print this out, you know, you can command P not from this and this will print out your sales analysis for you right here. So if you want to have it run every night in real time, then you can set Odoo up in such a way as to set a scheduled action, which is here. Give me a second. Scheduled action, and you'll be able to create, you know, send sales report. You know, select the model you want to send it from. It'll be a sale order. Execute every, uh, you said every week or every day at midnight. So every day, next execution, specify the time, uh, zero, zero, zero. Number of calls, negative one equals infinity, so it'll run endlessly. Action to do, send email, email template. Uh, you create a template and you'll say sales report. Here, um, applies to. I'll pull it from the contact record and you'll see you'll be able to specify who you want to send this report to, separated by com commas. Um, and you can do uh, optional report to print or attach. And I didn't create the, you would then have to create the actual report in here, which I didn't create it yet, but you'd assign the report here to print, print or attach and you'd save it and then it would run this send sales report every day at midnight, the next one to run two six at midnight, and forward that out. So actually you would wanna run it next one, will be two seven at midnight, and then every day going forward, it'll execute that, and it will send out the sales report email uh, with the, op the report that you would wanna attach here. I mean, that's if you wanna get an email every night with this report. The other option is to just just go to your dashboard and look at it in real time. I mean, why would you want a static report and look at that on your phone when you can just open up the dashboard and look at a dynamic report on the phone that's changing in real time? It just makes more sense. Um, and if you, of course, if you want to actually have a hard copy of this, um, you know, then you just control P and you print out your sales report just like that. So if you have any additional questions, uh, 
feel free to let me know. Another option here would be to um, actually go to the report. So if I create a report here of, um, let me just think about this. Grid Studio. Yeah, so you can create a report here as well, an internal report, which um, I can have my table. So you can then, you know, this is where you can actually go through and create your actual report where I can look at the um, order lines listed here and, you know, the pull fields into this report such as these from the sale order line, maybe I want to have the total. In this sort of report, you'd have a list of all your products across uh, all your products sold, and this report would be able to run and actually um, just test it. Ah, order seller report. I don't think I set that up right, but we can see what it looks like anyways. Yeah, it's, it's very simple, but you'd have, you, that's how you create an actual PDF in the system. It would require some time with Studio to, to put that together, but it is definitely possible. If you have any additional questions, let me know.